Okay. Let's record it. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Uh, the agenda, uh, introduction, interactive MPLS, MPLS uh, benefits and requirements, and then Q&A. Uh, if, if time permits, and then uh, I will share some configuration with uh, about MPLS, and then, uh, yeah, um, uh, uh, checking uh, how it works. Okay, introduction about the GLC. Uh, we, are, um, we are a company from Indonesia. We are based in Bandung. Bandung is in Indonesia. Uh, our areas are training and IT consulting. Uh, we are certified partner for Microtech, Ubiquiti, and Linux, Linux Foundation. We also uh, do some development. Uh, that's why we have uh, our own product here, GLC Produce Manager, GLC Billing. So we set up our own billing, uh, usually for ISP, for telco, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, telco, uh, which can manage um, customer, uh, payments and and then generating the billings and then uh, calculating the usage and so on. Uh, we have a regular event, uh, for example, this webinar. Uh, we schedule. I mean, we are uh, committed to the uh, regular. Okay, so in the pre in the past, uh, we had also a webinar. But uh, sometimes uh, the schedule was not there always because <laughs> we were busy. Uh, I mean, uh, because we, we, we were focusing on, on other things. So uh, this time we trying to be focused on focusing, focusing back on our webinar here. Uh, hope you guys can uh, enjoy our webinar. Okay, so my name is Ahmad Mariansha. I have introduced myself. Uh, based in Bandung, Unix user, Microsoft user, Ubiquiti user. Uh, we like Ubiquiti. And then so I see some folks here from Philippines. Yeah, uh, Ubiquiti also very popular there. <laughs> and uh, also a certified consultant uh, from Microsoft, uh, Ubiquiti, and then Linux. A website contributor. If you guys have LinkedIn, we can connect. Right, uh, those, these are, uh, uh, yeah, this is my um, LinkedIn profile. You can just type my name and then you can find my profile there. Uh, about past experiences, uh, 2020, uh, yes, we do projects mostly for developing a, a software, an application web page uh, for managing networks. Uh, last, last year, uh, we were, uh, doing project in Congo, uh, previously doing network revamp in Malaysia, um, remote uh, wireless migrations, uh, and then another stuff for ISP, migrating bridge network to router network, and then so on and so forth. Okay, I was working in telecommunication before, so uh, yeah, sometimes I I do get project related to telco. About the webinar itself, it's not new. Uh, it's not our first time. Our first webinar was in January 1st, 2010. Yes, yeah, 10 years ago. <laughs> and uh, during the New Year's. <laughs> yeah, at the time we, we were discussing the uh, Solaris operating system. Yeah, I, I, was, I was Solaris engineer at the time, uh, according with Linux, uh, along with Linux. Okay, so uh, for the future, uh, we put our schedules on www.glcnetworks.com uh, slash schedule. So if you are, I mean, you are also invited to be a presenter here. You don't need to be an expert, just sharing an experience. It's, it's, it's fine for us, okay? So we just, we just uh, schedule the webinar and then uh, you can uh, share something with the community. Okay, so next about yourself, and I think we have done this before in the beginning. Thank you very much again. Yeah, really, really appreciate that. Um, yeah, uh, at, at least I can see some, some of you are mostly are from Indonesia. Okay, and then some of you all are working in the telecommunications. Uh, some are ISP. Okay, most likely you are doing something related to the network, okay? And then I can see the fathers. 
people in this uh, webinar is from Taiwan. Yay. Thank you for coming. It must be late, very late in Taiwan. Okay. And to the, to the West, I, I don't know, maybe I, I got somebody from Africa or uh, Europe or I, I don't know. I, I don't think uh, people from, from, from America because it's, it's still a very early morning over there and they are still sleeping. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for coming. Okay, again. Now let's talk about MPLS. Uh, definition of MPLS is multi protocol level switching. So it supports multi protocol. So it's uh, cons uh, unfortunately, uh, it's, it's like uh, setting up a new layer. So uh, in, in the previous, uh, previously we know, we know seven uh, layer OC. So we have layer one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. We have we have one people here from Kurakau. Kurakau, eight forty-five a.m. Oh, it's very very early morning over there. Kurakau is from Latin America, I think. Uh, perhaps, yeah. Okay. Thanks for coming. It's very very far. Oh, Caribbean. Right, right. Caribbean island. <laughs> right, right. Thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, joining our webinar here. Okay, let's get back to MPLS. <laughs> so MPLS is, stands for multi-protocol level switching. So, <clears throat> so we are using labor for doing switching. Okay, so multi-protocol level switching. So we are, there must be a label and then we do switching based on the label. So that's, that's, that's uh, the, uh, what it means, okay. So uh, with MPLS, we'll be using label instead of uh, using uh, IP addresses. Okay, so the motivation of MPLS, uh, IP address lookup is considered more complex and takes long time. So if you see, uh, if you see a routing table here, uh, let me log into a, to a micro tick here. So if you do a uh, routing lookup, so IP routes, okay. So there will be uh, lots of entries here. Oh, why is it not coming? Ah, okay, so here it is, yeah. See, this can generate lots of entries. Okay, so uh, in my router here, we, I have uh, 68 items, 68 records. Uh, but in the real routers, especially if you are connected to BGP, uh, you have thousands and then 100,000 of them, okay? And then that one requires uh, lots of uh, uh, energy and then uh, power for processing that, okay? So that's why in the beginning, the motivation of MPLS is to avoid IP address lookup. So please, I don't want to read uh, routing tables because routing table is huge. I want to set up a new, a new switching mechanism, uh, which is, uh, can be something different than uh, IP address lookup, okay? So uh, if I read the uh, routing table lookup, and then what I will do is I need to sort the entries, routing table entries, based on the prefix, right? So as you can see, this is pref this prefix is slash 32, and this is slash 23, and then so on and so forth. We have a slash 29 here. We have 21, 24, 23, so on and so forth, okay? Oh, we have slash 20, yeah. So, uh, so uh, the routers will do the, um, the sorting uh, based on the uh, entries here, okay? So, uh, so the longest prefix will be put as higher priority if the prefix is same and then the IP address, the destination address is similar and then uh, the router will consider the distance. What about if both are similar and the distance is similar and then the prefix is also similar and then the uh, router will do the forwarding arbitrarily. Wow, MPLS in CRS. How much is the CPU load? Uh, not much, yeah, not even 10%. Okay, so, 
so that's why that's why the uh, that's why we use MPLS uh, because MPLS lookup can save the CPU processing. Okay, so decoupling routing and forwarding. So that's why this is one 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 uh, motivation of MPLS. Uh, so we want to decoupling. So that's why uh, I don't want to read the routing tables. Okay. Uh, so that's why we want to separate the routing. So I don't want to read the routing table. So please, uh, we want to do something. Okay. So that's why we develop the label, uh, label processing for, uh, for our packet forwarding. Okay. So again, as I, as I, uh, as I mentioned again, okay, I don't want to read the routing table. Why? Because the routing table is huge. I want to do uh, packet forwarding based on something else. And in this case, uh, we will use the label. Okay. But by the time goes, hardware of routers became better and then looking up for longest prefix is no longer an issue. Okay, so now, uh, oh, I want to do PLS because it can save CPU. No, CPU, uh, CPU in, in computer today is much, much faster, much more, uh, uh, powerful compared to CPU in 1990s. Okay, so uh, to avoid uh, IP routing, it's not the motivation of using MPLS. No, no. Uh, you can have. I have. I have. I have router that has uh, one million routing tables, one million entries in the routing tables. Uh, and then the CPU usage is not even 20%, around 10% something. Okay, so it means that hardware now is, is much better. Okay, so, but at least because we are decoupling routing and forwarding, we can do uh, other features, all right? So this is how MPLS VPN looks like, okay? Well, most of the slides here is not for me, okay? For your information. So I took many of them uh, because they already uh, made it public. So I just use, and then I have to be honest with you guys that uh, these, these slides are not uh, for me, okay? I, I, I took them from Cisco, uh, from Microtech, from, uh, from, from other sources. I will, I will put you in the uh, reference later at the end of the slide. Okay, so this is how, how VPN looks like, uh, MPLS looks like. So this is MPLS core. So as you can see, PE means provider edge. So by using MPLS, uh, you have to switch your mindset. Okay, so switch your mindset. Uh, what mindset, what kind of mindset? You have to switch your mindset from the internal organization to external, okay? So it means that by using MPLS, you are not for your own organization, you are giving, you are selling service to other organization. Okay, so for example, this is your own uh, organization, so you're not focusing on yours. So you have to think also other, other people that is, that is using your network for their connection. Okay, so for example, uh, this is, uh, VPN B, this is VPN B, this is VPN A, this is VPN A. So for example, uh, I have two customer here, VPN uh, customer A, okay, VPN A and VPN A here. So they are two sites. So for example, you are a big network provider. So as so in Cisco, they call the certification is called SP, okay, service provider. So when you use MPLS, uh, you are looking outward, okay? Outward looking. So it means that you are looking out of your organization. So in in out in other organizations, they are using your organization, your network to to provide their traffic, to forward their traffic from A to B. For example, you have a, a customer here, customer A. They have two sites, okay? Just like we did in, in Africa, we have a big network over there, uh, spanning uh, in, in a city. The city is quite big, so we have a customer in the east, customer in the west, in the in the west, sorry. Uh, and then uh, you can you can connect 
you, they can connect to each other using your own network, but but without disturbing your own routing table. That's the that's the the the, the magic of MPLS. Okay, because because sometimes if you are not carefully, uh, the customer prefix or customer routing uh, tables can affect your own routing table, right? <laughs> And then they can destroy the whole network of yours. Uh, that's not going to happen. So that's why we need this MPLS. And MPLS can do that. But with normal routing, the, 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 their prefix must be put into your, uh, your own routing table. And then your routing table will be messed up. And then the whole network will be down. <laughs> so I think this is the best, uh, 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 best features that MPLS can offer uh if you use it okay so mpls layer 3 vpn or layer 2 vpn so those are the mpls features uh that is usually or most widely used right uh, next is uh, traffic engineering for example for example uh from router one to router six okay so we have bandwidth here 300 Mbps, uh, tunnel two, uh, we have 50 Mbps, okay. So uh, in the beginning, you have, you have customer A, okay. Uh, you, have, you have path here from, from site two, okay, to site one, okay. Uh, okay, let me put the annotation here, okay. All right, so, so from here, you go this way, okay, right. Okay, from side two to side one. So this is only one way. So that's the traffic engineering. So if the customer need 10 Mbps, you go this way, okay. But this link, okay, only can support up to 10 Mbps. But this link over here, can support 30 Mbps. So when they increase requirements, so I want to pump uh, data for 30 Mbps. Okay, so and then your path will be from here to here and here and then goes to there. Okay, so that's the traffic engineering. So this is which is very cool. Okay. So I don't know who is it, Asep Nur Fadila. I don't know, uh, I, I don't know what you mean here. So if you have any questions, you can put it in the group chat, okay? So again, so that's the, <coughs> that's the, um, that's the traffic engineering looks like, okay? Oops, I haven't cleared up the, Oh, it did it. Annotate, clear, clear all from yes, good. Okay, so let's continue. So that's, that's the cool thing about MPLS. Uh, here's MPLS compared to the IP, okay? So MPLS is using late, oops. What did happen? Oh yeah, okay. So this is how MPLS compared to uh, IP address. Okay, so uh, the distinguished feature here is MPLS is using label for lookup. Okay, so this is evolution for MPLS. So as I said, MPLS is actually is not new. Uh, MPLS is actually uh, started in 1990s. Uh, and the initial motivation is actually uh, to save the processing power of the routers. <laughs> but now by time goes, the CPU is uh, getting powerful and then the well the routing table lookup is no longer issue okay so uh mpls scenario uh, it's like this so you have pe 
yeah, provide that edge, and then you have a P router. And then uh, from the customer side, they also have router. So MPLS is, I mean, mostly it's used for, uh, it's used for uh, enterprise, enterprise uh, customer because from from the customer side, they usually provide a router. So it's not like to the end user where you put a modem, right? So uh, for example, you have a GPON, a GPON uh, network. Uh, at the customer, at the ISP side, you have to provide PPPoE server. And then from the customer side, they, you put the modem or a new modem, okay? And then the modem dials and then that's it. So MPLS is different. Uh, usually MPLS is for, uh, for the enterprise customer. So usually, Usually people, when, when you are an ISP, you can set up your own MPLS and then the customer that can uh, consume your MPLS based service are the customer uh, that has their own network. So usually uh, the customer that wants to connect to the other sites, okay? A customer that has multiple sites and then you offer them uh, they can connect those sites with your network. Uh, then is all. Okay, sorry to leave. Thank you for sharing. Okay, join another session. Okay, thank you very much. And must be very late over there. Okay, uh, thanks for joining. And then uh, see you later. Okay, so this is topology. Uh, so uh, you have an IP domain. And then this is the customer uh, router from the customer router goes send the packets to the MPLS edge from MPLS edge uh, you will forward the packets but but in here you are translating from IP from layer 3 to MPLS so from MPLS to another MPLS to another MPLS what you are doing is looking up the tables uh, label tables so for example here MPLS so you have forwarding tables, uh, see? So uh, for example, uh, what they are looking in this switch is looking up the labels. Okay, so we are playing with the labels. So we are not, we're not using the IP routing anymore. Okay, so this is routing table, okay? Okay, on the left is the routing table. Okay, on the left is routing table. On the right is the uh, MPLS label table. Okay, so I'm not using this anymore. I'm using this. See, you can see is the label. Okay, blah 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 blah. Okay, so uh, I have one question here. Can I have the file later? Okay, yeah, we will share this uh, either on SlideShare or in our website. Okay, uh, next is the label. <coughs> So this is how MPLS works. Uh, so uh, by, uh, you have layer two and layer three, and then between layer two and layer three, uh, you put, you are inserting a label there. Okay, so data link layer, this is layer two, right? And then this is uh, layer three. So you put the MPLS label in between. So sometimes MPLS is called 2.5 layer. Okay, so it's not layer two, not layer three, but layer 2.5, okay? So this is the label looks like, okay. So how many bits? Uh, okay, one, 10, 20, 32 bits. Okay, so it's only one byte. Okay, uh, so the first, yeah. So the first 20 bit is the label. So as I, as I explained, so this is the label, okay. So can, can uh, one, uh, packet uh, have more than one label. Yes, it's possible. So instead of one label, uh, they are using two labels. Okay, so next is MPLS forwarding operations. Yeah, this is like what we discussed here before. So it's much more detailed than this. Uh, so in the beginning, uh, you put here one, uh, you're sending a packet to one edge router and then uh, you uh, when you forward to the next router okay uh, you will add 
the label here. Okay, so before, so we are we are forwarding from the left to the right here. So uh, in this, uh, in, for the router one, for the router one, uh, we are doing operation push. Okay. So push, so, so some, uh, uh, in, in MPLS, uh, the operations are push, push the label. So push the labels means, means uh, we are pushing, pushing in the, the label. So before there is no label, after we push, and then the package has a label, okay? And then the, 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 the frame arrive at the router two. Okay, in the router two, we have swapped the label. So previously the label is 100, now we swap 200. How do we know? Well, uh, yet yeah, because uh, we have a forwarding table there, okay? And then the packet is forwarded to uh, uh, router three, and then we do swap the labels, and then at, at the end of the uh, chain, uh, we do the pop operation. So pop means we are uh, taking out the label and then forwarding the rest. Okay, so MPLS is done from router one to router four internally, okay, in at internal uh, interface. Okay, so that's how the uh, MPLS looks like, okay. <clears throat> uh, here is the reference, uh, APNIC, uh, Asia Pacific Network Internet uh, Center, and then we have a Cisco, and then so that's that's how the MPLS looks like. Okay. Uh, so uh, as I said, okay. For example, this one. Yeah. So I just want to explain about uh, text here. So let me put the text. Okay. So for example. So customer A, you have for uh, 192.168.4.0, right? So <laughs> this is very common, okay? So this is one, one case study, okay? So one case study. So uh, this customer has this network, okay? Uh, and also, oops. Okay, and also uh, you have a customer, customer green, for example, you have 192.168.4.0. Okay, how can you, uh, .4.0, okay, it's less 24. Okay, so this is just an example, okay. So you have a customer, you can see they have a same network, okay? And then how can you accommodate them? So also you have inside your network, okay, inside your network, for example, okay, I, I put the, I put, okay, let's use this. Oh, let's change the color. Can I? No. Uh, you have you have one ninety two dot four dot zero slash twenty four. Okay, let's use other color. Okay, see. Okay, so this is one one example of uh, MPLS. Okay, so you have duplicated subnet, but but they will not clash to each other. Okay, so if normal routing, uh, you, you already drown. Okay. <laughs> okay, you already drown here. Okay, with MPLS, no, it's not. Uh, it is possible, this is customer A, and then you have another customer A here over here. Okay, I'm gonna put a, a color here, similar to others, okay. So as you can see, uh, VPN A, VPN A, okay. So this is customer A, 
A customer A is using green color, and then they are using same, same, uh, same subnet. So in this in this case, uh, you can use uh, you can use layer two VPN because uh, layer two is nothing to do with layer three. Okay, it's very basic lower le le uh, lower uh, layer. So you can connect them with layer two uh, VPN. Okay, so which can be done in the NVLS. Okay, it will not affect your own subnet. Okay, even though your network is similar to them. Okay, I have, uh, I have, I have a, I have a question here from Nicola. In this case, pop happened on router four, which is being yes, correct, yes. Uh, is there table cloud cause looping in the network? No, no, it's no looping. So that's why we have LDP. Okay, question from Di Martana. Yeah, no, it's not. Um, because label is, is can be, label can be uh, duplicated, but it's not, will not cause loop uh, in the network because uh, there is a, a protocol named LDP, protocol distribution, uh, sorry, LDP, label distribution protocol, uh, which is responsible for doing that thing. Okay, uh, another question from Atoric. Uh, in MPLS, uh, we load traffic balance automatically or manually, such as ECMP and others. Okay, so uh, so uh, the traffic uh, the traffic depends on the routing. Okay, but if you use traffic engineering, okay, you can do a magical stuff like that. Okay, so for example, from from site number two to site number one, you can you can do for example. Okay, let, let me put a tag here so that it's gonna be clear for everyone. Oops. Uh, okay, let's use. Okay, this color. Okay, purple. So okay. X, yes, X. So this is 10 Mbps, okay. okay this purple. Be clear. So I have this one. Okay, so this is Mbps, okay. 10, 10 M, 10 Mbps, okay. This link, okay. This link is 10 Mbps. This link is 30 Mbps, okay. Right, so this is 30 Mbps. Okay, and then we have here 40 Mbps, this link, okay. You get the idea, right? So with normal routing from side two to side one, Okay, the, okay, let's do it drawing. Is it drawing? Yeah, up oh, three hand. All right, okay. So with the normal routing from site two to site one here, okay. So it's gonna be this part, okay, blah, 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 up to there. Okay, why? Because this is the shortest. Right, so only lowest hop compared to others. But you can see it's not bandwidth aware, only hop. Okay, so it's 10 Mbps. What, what if the customer A wants to forward to uh, 20 Mbps? For, for the traffic 10 Mbps, this path is okay, that's fine. But if they require 10 Mbp, uh, 20 Mbps, no, you cannot do that. Okay, you have to go this way. And then that can be done with traffic engineering automatically. That's the magic of MPLS. Okay. All right, so hopefully that answered questions, uh, Atoric. Okay. And that it happens automatically, yes, automatically. So what we did is 
uh, we set up the uh, traffic engineering scheme and then we, we say, okay, if you want to follow the traffic, so uh, we'll provide it for you. Okay, and then we guarantee, we guarantee that <clears throat> the traffic is already allocated there. Okay, nothing is, will, will disturb you. Okay. Okay, one, one um, announcement for admin. So we have, uh, we have a workshop for MPLS. Oops. Yeah, MPLS. I'm, I'm too lazy for clicking. Okay, here's the schedule. <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, MPLS workshop, okay, um, in the future. Okay, if you're interested, uh, we'll do more hands-on than the, what we are doing today, okay? So in that workshop, we'll uh, learn about the uh, more hands-on with MPLS. We, we will set up MPLS, we will set up traffic engineering, uh, also layer two, layer two uh, VPN, layer three VPN. Uh, so all about the MPLS. So you will know MPLS in that. Uh, and then the MPLS workshop is, is using Microtik, uh, uh, my Microtik uh, operating system. Okay, so I think that's all uh, with the, with the, um, with the, uh, uh, presentation. Okay, so if it's, you are interested, please come to our training. Uh, yeah, as I said, uh, there will be a workshop for MPLS in the future. Okay, check our schedule. And then in that uh, workshop, uh, we'll do a more hands-on with the MPLS. So at least today, you know how, how it looks like with the MPLS. Okay, what MPLS can do, what MPLS can benefit your your network. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, what I will do is I want to clear out the drawings. Yeah. Okay. Done. And then end of the slides. Okay. Yeah. We still do Q and A. Okay, I have a comment in the group chat. Atoric, very good feature. Thanks for the application. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> Glad you understand. Okay, for those who are uh, not clear with the uh, explanation, uh, you know, I, either because I'm speaking in English or any other, other any other, uh, other other cause or issues, uh, please do so. Uh, please do type your question here. You don't have to type your question in English. Uh, you can just type your question in uh, Bahasa Indonesia. Of course, I can, I can understand Indonesian. Okay, the next question is from August. Is MPLS just used by ISP for private one? Proposed assessment. So, okay, question number one. Um, MPLS used by ISP. Yes, ISP used by because uh, when you use ISP, if you are using your own MPLS for your own campus, I think it's useless. <laughs> for, for what? Okay. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So uh, uh, you want to set up a, 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 a tunnel that is based on MPLS. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, what else? So nothing, nothing. I mean, if you use, you, if you are using your, for your own internal organization, I mean, I mean, uh, doesn't give you much benefit. I mean, using MPLS will not make your network faster. I don't think. Uh, no, no, I don't. I don't think that way. Okay, where is somebody is turning on your camera? Please turn off. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so uh, I don't think. Uh, yeah. 
if your question is does MPLS is MPLS used by ISP? Yes, because they are providing services to other organizations. But if you are a big organization and then you are using MPLS, uh, not much benefit. Okay, uh, your network will not be faster if you use MPLS. No, I don't think so. MPLS is used for internet backbone router. What do you mean internet backbone? Oh, for BGP, no, no. So for border, for border, uh, for border um, routers, uh, they, usually they don't use MPLS. Yes, they do. They do. They do use MPLS to uh, on the interface that is facing to the internal network. All right. So okay. Uh, can you please stop the video here? Right, so I think that's all. Oh, I have uh, lots of questions here. Thank you Ahmad, for the sharing. What are the type two type MPLS? T and TP. T means traffic engineering. Okay. TP, what is TP? Sorry, I don't understand here. Sorry, I don't understand the TP. So, yeah, so as I said, TE is a one, 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 uh, one, one MPLS feature that is, that, that is, uh, I think it's, it's just magic, okay? So it, it, it uses the RSVP protocols. So it means that it's like it's reserving uh, resources along the path so please reserve that bandwidth for me for example yeah it's, it's, it's which is a very very good so it, it's it looks like it's similar to like a circuit switch or so your advocated switch a physical connection for this uh, particular customer from that is that that wants to connect from a to b okay so that was Amri Haryana uh, Next is your future work discuss how to configure MPLS using ISAs or OSPF. So here we are using OSPF. So here in our workshop, we are, we are setting up. So one, okay, also one issue here. Uh, people always say, I don't want to, pe people tend to avoid MPLS because as MPLS is expensive. Well, no, it's not true. If you are, that depends on the vendor, okay. <laughs> Uh, we use MPLS uh, with my config product, and then that is the cheapest MPLS solution on Earth, okay, on planet Earth, I guarantee you. Okay, so give me a cheapest router that can support MPLS under 100 US dollars. Okay, can you give me a name? Yes, only one name coming out, which is Microtik. Okay, so if you buy Microtik, from the, their cheapest router to their expensive router, all of them can support MPLS. So that's why uh, when we implement this MPLS, uh, we just use uh, uh, Microtik. So for answering your questions, so are we implementing MPLS based on ISIS or OSPF? We implement MPLS on top of OSPF. So, uh, Okay, prerequisite for MPLS. Uh, we will set up a dynamic routing first in order to set up the LDP. Okay, so uh, after the um, after the routing table or the routing state is adjacency, we reach the adjacency of the routing states. So make sure that all routers have the same state of uh, topology. We have adjacency among all routers, and then we build uh, MPLS on top of it. All right, next, Lim Agung. I think I know this guy, Lim Agung. <laughs> uh, can MPLS be detected on different network devices vendor? Well, that depends. Uh, so if you ping, and then the, there'll be a label, label, but that has to be done from the router itself, okay? Because because if you are picking from the ONU, I don't think 
some some support the BLS, some are not. TP is transport profile. Well, I'm not sure what the transport profile is because uh, with TE uh, we set up uh, now we set up a, a set up configuration with TE. Okay, let me check here. Yeah, there is no uh, transfer profile. Okay, transfer profile. So it's TE, okay? So here we use TE. Uh, okay, so I think uh, hopefully that answers the questions. Okay, next from Nicola, even on map, you can run MPLS for lab on map. Or lab, of course. Huh. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so anything else? Any questions? Any questions? Okay, finish. No more question. Looks like everybody is, I don't know. I don't know whether you're confused with MPLS <laughs> or you already get clear with this MPLS things. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, okay, I got a question here. Uh, uh, this can share MPLS file in Gmail. Well, uh, we will share the, 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 the slides on SlideShare or in our, <clears throat> sorry, or in our website, okay? Just stay tuned there. Uh, we will we'll not give you a mail, a one by one, because, because yeah, it, 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 it takes time and then energy for the admin. <laughs> really sorry for that. All right, uh, anything else? Okay, let me show you one here. Yeah, let me check. Okay, anything else? So while I'm I'm checking my own router here, make sure that this is it's okay. So this is one example of uh, how you detect the MPLS, okay? So you can use trace route here and then ping, and then you can see MPLS label over here. Okay, so for example, I'm pinging this IP address, and then I can see the label over here. Okay, because I'm already inside my own MPLS network. And, <clears throat> and then, the, yeah, you can see the label. So this is the P, P router, this is the P and other P routers, and then we do the pop uh, operation here. Right. right, so. Yeah, okay, I think I have, I, oh, I have lots of questions. <laughs> Please tutor configurations. Uh, well, for more detailed configurations, there will be in the workshop. And a link for this customer for single click. Uh, yeah, uh, go to the uh, slide share. Usually I put all my slides there. Uh, after this, I'll be putting the 
slide over there. Okay, please do the test trace route. What's the difference between MPLS and not? Uh, okay, I've done that. Okay, so I think that's all. Uh, and so we already have we already have one hour here. And I think it's time to say goodbye. Uh, thank you very much for coming. And then if you are interested to learn more about MPLS, because uh, one hour, uh, our webinar is only one hour. Uh, <clears throat> the purpose of our webinar is to, to give you an idea for sharing an idea, to share about technology, okay? But at least uh, you know something, you know, you know how it works. Okay, of, of particular things. For example, in this case is the technology. We also cover topics like uh, database because we also do programming and then we develop an application. We also do uh, set up HTML, uh, PHP, uh, also uh, data science because I'm currently doing my PhD. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah we, we use uh, data a lot. Uh, yeah, and then the wireless things, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, many things, uh, I want to, uh, lots, lot, lot of things need to cover here. Uh, I mean, not need to cover, I mean, a lot of things can be covered in the webinar, okay. But to discuss everything in one hour, I don't think uh, it's possible, okay. Well, uh, Next is next questions. Rasa oh, okay, trying to understand, right? <laughs> um, guys, I'm really sorry. I have to speak in English because uh, for the, the 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 attendees here is not only from Indonesia. I have to speak in English. Okay, I'm really really sorry for that. And uh, good luck for everyone. Um, <clears throat> uh, thank you again. And then see you next time. I will turn off the recording. Okay. And then uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, <laughs> good late evening for those who are in Australia and Taiwan <laughs> or in Japan. And then see you again later yeah, in our webinar. Thank you and have a nice day. <laughs>